What's going on? Isaiah with Campo Vans here. Really excited to show you this 4x4 170 we just finished up. Got it outfitted with a bunk bed, a full shower, full galley. So let's go check it out. We've gone ahead and added a outdoor cook station here. This pairs very well with one burner induction, a mobile induction that'll plug in right down here. We've also got a little USB charger there to pair really nicely with this. We've got this isotherm drawer fridge. This is actually one of two fridges in the vehicle. This is the secondary fridge. Perfect for drinks and stuff if you're around the campfire. We've got this really pretty custom built screen here. It's from Roll F in Canada. It also uh, has a magnet entrance. So if you want to come in and out, if you want to stow it out of the way, it's actually quite simple. There you go. We've kept it really simple in the galley here. Two burner induction, a nice Ravati deep sink, all bamboo counters, plenty of drawer storage. Because of this large induction unit, if you are cooking, you're gonna need some extra prep space. That's why we've put this fold-up table here. This can all be really nicely closed off for privacy and warmth in the winter or coolness in the summer. Got a really cool curtain here. Magnets into place, really nice. It's pretty rigid curtain. It's got some thick foam in there for insulation. I'm made by Two Rig. Pairing with these swivels is a Friedman seat. This one's covered in a nice uh, luxurious black vinyl. We'll also go ahead and pull out our bamboo table here. And I'm really enjoying a cool breeze off the ocean right now from this turn window. They've got blackout and a full bug screen. We've got a nice bit of storage here, as you can see with a couple charging ports built in. Because this is a 170 wheelbase, it gave us the opportunity to do a little more storage along with the shower back here. Right here we've got a nice closet unit with a couple of drawers. Both these drawers have chargers in the back so you can leave electronics in there. A really nice hanging closet. This one's got a little light in it, a nice touch. One of my favorite things about this build is all the cedar TNG. We've done a lot of detail here. Really nice kind of little nook out here. You'll see another one in the back, very similar. And of course the whole ceiling really warms up the space. Our top compartment houses all the electronics and systems controls. This switch base here, a controller for our Trigger 6 system, which is a Bluetooth based system. So that means we can use the switches in the cabinet or control everything on the iPad here. We can also check all of our Victron systems on this and check our water tank level. He's gone with electronic dump valves in this fan, which is a really cool feature. It's definitely very convenient. So moving back, we've got our nice, full-size shower, doubling as a bath uh, with the Thetford cassette toilet. We want to keep the showers in these things as close to showering at home as you can get. We've got the exhaust fan to pull the steam out of the van. We've also got a nice teak grate here. This empties down into a 20 gallon gray water tank under the van. So acting as a divider between our bunk bed sleep system and our galley, we have a tall fridge here. Got an integrated freezer. I love how this makes you feel like you're a little closer to home. Now we've got our sleeping area. As you can see, I'm standing in a large drawer here. We'll get to that in a minute. Now you may be wondering, how a bed exists in here, and I'll show you. So we'll start with the lower level, and then I'll show you the upper level. Lower level is a really easy deploy. A couple of barrel bolts. So this lower bunk is a really nice, cozy little zone. Really like how it stows under there. All the upholstery in here, super soft. So we've got a little bit of backlighting. This comes down super quickly and has room for a couple pillows in the back. Bump outs here so you can sleep sideways while down below you're sleeping long ways. Now this van was designed specifically so that uh, our client could head out with their grandkids and who would be sleeping below while they sleep up top. That's a really comfortable way to sleep four people inside a van and using that nice dinette setup up front makes it really livable for four people. In order to store all the clothing for that many people, you're gonna need some more storage. So we've gone ahead and added some more upper cabs here. A huge amount of storage here. So as you can see, it's just the right size for a couple folks to sleep down here. I'm um, just a little under six feet and it's about perfect for me. You're on the taller side. You're gonna wanna sleep in the upstairs area. I've got plenty of room here. It's a nice big, about a queen size bed. Tried to incorporate a couple of cool details. We've added flare space flat flares in the back. They have a little window back here, especially with both max air roof fence cranking, you'd suck a lot of air across the bed. And that's one of the most important things is getting air moving past you, especially if you're in a warmer climate. Hello dog, I'm getting a call anyway. Housed in the rear cabs of the vehicle, we got all our systems. We've got 600 amp hours of Battleborne lithium batteries. Those are charged via 540 watts of solar on the roof. We've got two 30 amp DC DC chargers 
giving you 60 amps of charge while you're driving. We also have the multi plus inverter, which when connected to shore power, you can get upwards of 90 amps of charge. 30 gallons of fresh water on this side, 22 on this side, and then another 20 underneath the van, which is really necessary to get full use out of that shower. We've actually fitted a big heavy duty drawer. In order to easily load and unload those bikes. Instead of trying to wrestle with a bike rack on the back or anything like that, you can keep them locked away and safe inside the vehicle. Now to the exterior of the vehicle. Two Baja Designs S2 work lights mounted to Rugged Designs rack. Uh, all of our Zamp Solars also mounted up there, along with a WeBoost Alvan spare tire and ladder combo. Great integration on that. And then we've also got the B2 sweet box here. Really great build quality on these, excellent product. And then of course we've got a couple one-up racks. Backwoods Adventure Mods rear bumper. A couple little spotlights out back to act as reverse lights. And then also the flare space for sleeping sideways. Got turn windows in both sides because it's a 170 that allows you to do it. As well as a turn window up front. Tons of breeze coming through there. You can also see we've got a shore power hookup, a couple fresh water fills from Illuminous. We do have a couple Nerf bars acting as a really good step. This thing's super jacked thanks to Agile Off-Road and their rip kit. So these steps are really necessary. They've gone with a secondary shock up front and real heavy leaf springs in the back. And it drives probably better than when it was empty and brand new. Up front, we've got the Rough Country curved light bar that fits perfectly into that RDC rack. Fiamma F45S awning, the longer version for the 170 with a couple of those S2s hanging off of it. Hammerhead front bumper from Alvans with a couple LP4s and a couple Squadron Pros mounted to that. You can also see the horn upgrade hiding out up in there. This thing is gonna look pretty rad at night. One really cool feature about it is it's all controlled by your phone. Let's say we want some, uh, we want to camp outside. We're starting a fire, setting up camp. I can, let's hit side lights. So we have the side lights on now. We have some ditch lights. There's LP4s and amber light bar from Rough Country. So that thing is super bright. This thing looks super rad, all lit up. You can't actually dim all of our exterior lights. So if you look at our side lights here, I can bring those down. Um, super dim. I can take our ditch lights way down. Well, I think that just about wraps it up for this rig. Thanks for watching. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Check us out on Instagram or over on our website. It's getting pretty late. I think the neighbors are probably tired of being blinded by all these lights and it's far past our bedtime. So we're out of here. See you next time.